Okay, today I'm going to be putting together this trailer I got a couple days ago from Harbor Freight. It's a fold up uh, 48 by 96 trailer. I'm not going to video the whole assembly, but I will take some short videos through the whole process. Uh, just for the fact that I'm going to try to quickly put this together and see if I can get it to DMV to get it uh, tagged and, and registered and whatnot. Uh, I don't know how that will go. We'll see, I guess. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, this is it. So I'll be doing today. Okay, so I've gotten the front half um mostly assembled i still need to get the tongue on uh, but i've got this piece together i've squared it up with my speed square and it's it's off by just a hair but i'm fine with that i mean it's really really close On this side, it's like perfect, so I'm um, just gonna be happy with that. So, I'm gonna get the tongue on, I'll get the back half done, and then I'll uh, bring you guys back to show. Okay, so I've got the back assembled, tied on to the front, and the tongue is on. Um, I was moving right along and almost forgot to video record this. Uh, I was folding this up and getting ready to put the wheels on and I remembered so unfolded it again not too hard but the uh, tongue's all assembled put on it's uh, going a lot easier and a lot faster than I thought it would so we'll see how the rest of this goes and I'll bring you back once I get uh, the wheels and probably tires on. What I mean by wheels is since it is foldable it uh, when it folds up it rolls around on casters so I'm getting ready to put those on and then I'll get the springs and tires and fenders on and then I'll bring you guys back. Okay, so I got the springs on there, the wheels on there, the fenders on there. And I took the hubs off the tires because I have to tear them apart, clean all the bearings, and repack everything. Um, because the instructions say so. <laughs> um, I say if I don't, then it'll void my warranty so I'll just go ahead and do it it's no big deal so I'm going to tear these apart clean everything up and repack everything and get these wheels on and see if I can't stand this thing up and I'll bring you back okay so I've got the tongue finished I've got the rest of the tie down brackets mounted I've got the marker lights and the tail lights um, bolted up As, long as, as well as the uh, license plate bracket. So now what I have left to do is the wiring, which should be fun. I hate wiring, but I can do it. So I will bring you back after I get that done. Okay, so here it is. It's all finished. I uh, just finished wiring it up and it's all done. Uh, it's all folded up because I had to make sure I had the right amount for the fold. So there's a little bit extra in here. Close the other side. <clears throat> and then for now, I just 
put a couple pieces of tape to hold this together and right now it's a four pin connector I'm gonna have to get an adapter for my Yukon because it's not a four pin <clears throat> So, I'm going to have to get an adapter for that. But, the build on this thing's done. So, the first thing I think I am going to do to this, you can see some marks right here. These casters suck. And they're bad. It, this thing barely rolls, so probably get some new casters for it. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe just getting some casters like I put on my uh, my bandsaw. They're those are awesome casters. I like them a lot. Um, got them from Home Depot. So I'll probably get casters, and of course I'm gonna get. Uh, plywood to put on this. I heard the clearance for the fold um, is like five eighths or something. I think I'm just gonna go half inch, half inch plywood, cut it in half, uh, cut in half a four by eight, and mount it on there. So, anyways, there she is. Oh,